I'm Commissioner Eva Aguilar, the host and CEO. Our media pastor is Minister Tremaine Barr. Reaping a Blessing Garden Resort Ministry is the headquarters where all main events are hosted. Our mission is to operate in the gifts, calling, and potential that God has given and to serve, share, and inspire. This is my moment and season to inspire you to decrease and let God increase daily in your life. And that is the title of this message, Decrease and Let God Increase. I encourage you to take the time to reflect on your life journey and analyze how much of it has been fleshly driven. The flesh, body, the physical part of man and woman that is driven by an individual soul, which is the mind, heart, and will, has many desires, and some desires are not godly. That's why we need God's Holy Spirit operating in us at the core of our souls. According to the Word of God, if you are fleshly driven, it is extremely challenging to live a pure life and be an effective leader. Philippians 3 and 3. In Philippians 3 and 3, Paul warns Christians of the danger of trusting in the flesh. He says, finally, my brother, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision, which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. In Philippians 3, 4 through 6, Paul shares his credential to let you know how important it is not to trust in the flesh. He says, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he has whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecution, the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. You see, Paul lets you know that if anyone should have confidence in the flesh based on credential and life status, he more. He encourages you not to put confidence in any flesh. Many have been scattered, wounded, emotionally confused, and backslidden, and are far from God because they have trusted in the flesh of man and woman. I encourage you today to put all your trust in God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Moses encouraged Israel during their journey to crossing the Jordan River. He says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of the, uh, or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. I encourage you today that are fleshly driven to take the time to reflect on your life journey and allow God to increase and to take charge of your soul, which is your mind, heart, and will. Let God operate at the core of your soul and the flesh will decrease and be driven by the Holy Spirit. Then your life will be much better. 
John 3 and 30. The Lord must increase in you, and you must decrease. A fleshly driven life is a miserable journey. John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy. I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You see, it is God's plan for you to have an abundant life, but it is the enemy plan for you uh, not to have an abundant life. It is his plan to steal, to kill, and to destroy that abundant life that God has planned for you and that has that that have promised you. But the key to having that abundant life is to be deeply in God with all your mind, all your soul, and all your heart. You either save or you're lost. You see how the the Lord God wants you to have an abundant life and how the enemy on the other hand wants to steal and kill that and so he has so many people uh, fleshly driven and they don't realize that they're fleshly driven I remember when I was all in my flesh way out there in the flesh fleshly driven going to and fro doing this and that and I just thank God that he brought me to a place in my life where I realized and I came into the reality that all those years of life journey, I had been fleshly driven more than the spirit, more so than being spirit spiritually driven. And so it's a beautiful life when you allow God to rest at the core of your soul and to and begin to lead and guide you through this life life will be much better and you will feel much better you will have joy your joy will be complete your life will be um, full of adventures and I'm not saying that that's going to exempt you from every trial or every tribulation. I'm not saying that. But I guarantee you that your life will be much smoother and that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel for any situation that you face in this life. If you allow God to take charge uh, of the core of your soul and lead you, because when you allow God to take charge at the core of your soul, you allow him to come in and to orchestrate your every decision, your every move, your every direction in your everyday life. But this flesh will lead you down some paths, down some roads. It will have you make some decisions that will lead you into unpleasant situations. So I encourage you on today is to let God increase in your life daily and you decrease. Let your flesh decrease. Thanks for joining me for an inspirational message. I hope you have been inspired and your soul blessed. In closing, please tune into my channel this late spring for a spring garden tour of Reaping a Blessing Garden Resort. Beauty for gardening. Peace be with you. Love you. See you next time on my next video.